It's pretty common when working with a landscape photo to desire to tweak and emphasize the sky. There are several ways of doing this, but I want to show you a few of my favorites. First up, the overall vibrance slider can be quite useful, and that's going to go after the skies nicely. But in this case, you see it's also affecting the landscape and the water a bit. So I'll back that down just slightly. Additionally, you can do the similar adjustment with the graduated filter. So don't be afraid to drag across the sky and then use a little bit of change there. Let's go ahead and leave the exposure alone, but increase here the dehaze amount on the sky and a little bit of clarity and saturation. And you see how that brought the sky out and we could move that up or down. You can see that change in the sky nicely. Additionally, in the module here, the HSL tools are gonna to be your friends. This allows you to go in and really quickly adjust. We can go to the saturation here and bring up the aquas, which is the water, and a little bit more of the blues for the sky itself, which is quite cool. If we also go down to the color grading tools, you'll notice we could target the highlights. In this case, I could introduce color, and I'm putting just a touch of red into the highlights, and look at how it cleans up the white froth there. In any case, if we put this side by side, you see a nice overall change. Not too heavy, but just enough to bring out that color and make it more visually interesting. Let's do one more example. In this case here, we're gonna tackle this overall image. It's pretty simple. And we'll do a quick fix by just taking advantage of the auto button. Now what I'm gonna do is apply a basic profile for a landscape image. If I want to, I can also click and browse and go in and access the camera landscape profile or the camera vivid profile and just boost that up a little bit. That looks better. Now let's take advantage of that overall vibrance there to bring back the sky. You could do that to bring out the overall amount and then use HSL for refinement. In this case, I'm just gonna tone down the saturation of the yellows and oranges slightly so they don't get quite as rich as the sky. Using the luminance sliders, we can also darken the sky a little bit and bring that back into play. Now by darkening it and playing with the overall amount, we're getting a better global saturation. And by mixing the amount of aqua versus blue, I could really refine that. If you look at the side by side, you see a tremendous recovery there of bringing back a lot of missing information and color. Now the real heroes here are gonna be HSL and Vibrance. They're gonna make it easy for you to refine the color in the image. But the surprising supporting player here is gonna be those camera profiles. They're a great way to quickly push the image in the right direction.